students welcome to the module 3 of the subject applications of computer in pharmacy so this is unit 3 and this particular chapter whose title is applications of computer in pharmacy we shall be studying the following content first we shall talk about the drug information storage and retrieval followed by pharmacokinetics drug design, mathematical modeling in drug design, under computational approaches, we have to study about the hospital and clinical pharmacy, the electronic prescribing and discharge system, the barcode medicine identification system, the automated dispensing of the drugs, the mobile technology, adherence monitoring, the diagnostic system, followed by patient monitoring system and the importance of all such functions in pharmacy. So before moving in detail, the drug design and development of a drug molecule is actually very common these days and uh, this procedure actually reduces the cost on the research in drug moiety development so for doing that qsar that is quantitative structure activity relationship is one of the method which is used in drug design what actually qsar do it transforms the chemical structure of a compound into a set of numerical descriptors of the properties which are relevant for the biological activity of that particular compound and uh, by doing that there can be an establishment of quantitative relationship between these descriptors as well as the biological activity so as the name says quantitative means there will be quantitative relationship structure activity relationship means how the structures can be modified on the basis of numerical descriptors so that their activity is known to us. So generally QSAR method uses several physical chemical properties simultaneously and perform a regression analysis and other statistical treatments. The most widely used technique for QSAR is linear free energy or uh, which is also called extra thermodynamic method of hence which uses hence equation hence equation actually assumes the additive effect of many substituents in it it includes the electrostatic steric hydrophobic and dispersion data in the non covalent interaction of a drug and biomacromolecule or receptor it is related by hence equation which is here here the the constant values are regression coefficients they are calculated by the computer actually and qsar database are available from which the values of pi sigma es mr for each substituent can be calculated or obtained and here pi is the hence value for lipophilicity which is an indication of the substituent effect on log of octanol water partition coefficient Sigma here is the Hammett value which indicate the lipophilicity. ES is the Taft value. It indicates the steric parameter and uh, MR stands for the molar refractivity which indicate the dispersion interaction. So this computerized approach which is known as QSAR will enable you to predict the activities of analogs of a moiety prior to moving forward for the synthesis of it but actually these regression methods only permit optimization of a known family of compound you cannot uh, optimize something which is not at all discovered you can optimize a particular family and it do not allow you to go beyond the common chemical frame so to overcome such techniques uh, limitation Molecular modeling technique is uh, developed 
and which is done by theoretical as well as computer graphics. Theoretical calculations analyze the conformational possibilities of the molecule on the basis of their molecular orbital calculations and molecular mechanics simulations. And there are various softwares for molecular modeling. They include CNDO2, PICLO, MM2, CAMSC, like that. So, this way, mathematical modeling is very useful for drug design. These are a few books that I have referred for preparing this content for you. Thank you for your patient listening.